friends, so today I have kind of a frustrating story. I guess it's more of a story time than anything else, but also kind of like a PSA. So if you haven't seen by the title, um, one of the bumps we've had with building our house is... I'm not really sure how to go into this. Anyway, I'll just start from the beginning. So long story short, actually no, this is going to be a long story, so buckle up. So we started our site prep in December and one of the things that we needed to do was remove a lot of the stumps that were in the ground. So what had happened is whoever had owned the property before there was more trees and they basically cleared the trees and took like the timber value and while they were clearing the trees it was discovered that they could not build the house that they wanted to build because the buildable area was um, it was kind of like a long and narrow and they wanted like a really big long white house and so they weren't able to do it so they put it back on the market and that's when we found it and so that's basically they just left all the stumps there so my husband was working with another guy who's an excavator who had like a smaller machine but he basically said okay well why don't you rent from this particular company that I've worked with before I like them you know they're pretty reputable and um, get a bigger exca excavator, <laughs> can't say the word very well, to pull out the stumps. Because basically, I mean, these were like, we're talking big trees. And so you have to basically dig around all the dirt to pull out the root system to get the stumps out so that you can start, um, we could build our house. And we wanted to get the stumps out of the yard because it would be really difficult to like kind of level out everything and put grass down if you had all these stumps in the way. And even if you like grind them down, you still don't get, um, they, they still like take up space and you can't like put grass over them kind of thing. So anyway, so he was doing that and one of the ways that you get rid of the stumps is you burn them. And it's, um, we got a permit so it's perfectly legal and you basically had like a bonfire to burn all the stumps. Well, so when he went to move one of the stumps, which we're talking, they're like the size of a car. They're huge. Um, one of the, as he was picking it up by the claw, one of the pieces broke off and the stump actually rolled back towards him in the excavator and like broke the window of the excavator and um, almost killed him. Like he could have seriously died if it wasn't for him being inside this like safety cage basically. So um, that was pretty scary. <laughs> So anyway, so we went to talk to the company and when he went to sign up for it, most, our understanding with most rental companies is that they carry insurance and you basically get like, you sign a paper that you are responsible for part of the cost of a repair, but normally they would have insurance that would cover all of it. And, you know, I asked him, I'm like, was there any insurance? Like, did they ask you to buy it? Cause sometimes that'll be the case too. And he says, no. So we just assumed that there would be insurance on the machines. Well, come to find out, this company was bought out by a bigger chain company and they are not as reputable as they used to be. And we found out after the fact that our neighbor who's building right next door to us had some issues with the same company where they basically were trying to overcharge him for stuff and he basically had to kind of fight them a little bit and they still he still ended up paying for more than what he like legally needed to, but they were just really shady about it. So we find out that there is absolutely no insurance on this ex excavator. And so long story short, we're on the hook for the entire repair. And of course, all of a sudden they had the entire machine repainted, they put new decals on, and they did all these extra things because you know, we were paying for it. So we like, like I'm still so mad about it. And it's one of those things where legally my husband signed the paperwork and and before anyone jumps on our case like oh you should have known better no we didn't and it's like we don't have a lot of experience and we trusted this other person we had been working with about it because he had said that he had great service with them and they were very attentive and only to find out that when he worked with them it was many years ago when they were under different management so it's been a frustrating couple weeks so basically we were on the hook for right, around twelve thousand dollars we negotiated with them it was supposed to be like sixteen thousand and we negotiated with them a little bit and so that is what i would consider our twelve thousand dollar mistake and 
just a PSA if you are building. Um, it's really hard because wanting to do the stuff yourself, which my husband does have some experience in the business, and obviously this was a complete accident. It's, it wasn't due to any like, um, like ignorance or like he didn't know. It was just an unfortunate thing that happens sometimes, and because you know we didn't have insurance on the machine, that's why we have to pay the full price. But the thing about it is a lot of people want to do a lot of work themselves because they want to save money. And believe me, I totally understand that. I mean, we are trying to like do as much stuff as we can within reason to save money because it's just, it's expensive to build. And, and right now building is pretty popular. So there's a lot of companies that are really busy. And so they'll tend to like charge you more because they can, because they're the only ones doing the work or they're so backed up that it needs to be worth their time to come out and work on your project. So basically make sure if you are renting any machines that there are insurance on the machines or that you have an understanding with a person about it because we were naive and obviously made a huge mistake and now we have to pay for it obviously but it just kind of adds to the what can happen I guess when you are building and stuff that you don't really think will be an issue can be an issue so that's kind of all I wanted to talk about today it's been I mean it's been good it's been bad but I'll be honest I'm never going to build a house again I mean I like the idea of not really designing but I like the idea of like having a house built from scratch in the place that we want it to be but I honestly for a lot of people I would agree it's not really worth the headache I mean and, and doing it all on your own is, is just really hard unless you're like, you know, you have a lot of friends that can help you because it's not something that you can easily do on your own. I know some people do, but we don't. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I hope that that will kind of help anybody who is building to kind of be a little bit more careful about what companies you work with and what kinds of things you decide to do yourself. So if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. And thank you guys so much for watching.